that made the best noise when I just picked my water bottle up. Today's video is hashtag not sponsored by the Australian Weather System. See, the thing is, is that I have to turn the fan off to film, because otherwise it makes too much of a loud noise, but I live in Australia, and it's hot as well, hello there, a hearty welcome and thank you for joining me for my second video now, which is really exciting! So today, for my second video, I thought, why not get to know each other a little better? Or, more specifically, why not let you get to know me a little bit better? So I will be doing today the Get To Know Me tag. I found this tag online, um, I have tweaked some of the questions a little bit, and I've taken some questions out because they weren't applicable to me and that kind of thing, but you'll get the general idea. So without further ado, let's crack on with the video. So the first question on the get to know me tag is, what is your full name? My full name is Matthew James Dunn. The second question is, where were you born? I was born in Shrewsbury, in Shropshire, in the United Kingdom. Google it if you don't know where it is, lovely place, I suggest you visit. The third question is, what is your date of birth? My date of birth is the 17th of the 4th, 1995, which this year makes me 20 years old. 20 is actually not that old. I'm okay with it. The next question is, what was your favourite subject at high school? Now, when I was in high school, I purely did subjects that I enjoyed doing. I didn't do any of this whole, oh, I should probably do a science, and oh, I should probably do this, or I should do that. I just did subjects that I knew I would enjoy. So when I was in high school, we had to do maths, English, and study of religion, and then you got four electives. So I did hospitality, which was like um, cooking and serving skills. I did drama, I did music, and I did music extension. Don't do subjects that you think you have to do at school. Do the subjects that you want to do, because at the end of the day, you want to do them, so you'll do well in them. The next question is, what is your favourite drink? My favourite drink, it's a toss-up between cranberry juice and raspberry iced tea. I can't choose. It's like Sophie's choice. The next question is, what would you name your children? See, the thing is, I just want to give my children normal names. So I think I'm just going to name my children like old school names. Like, if I had a boy, I'd probably call him George or Samuel or James. And if I had a girl, I'd probably call her something like Charlotte or Catherine or Emily or just normal names. What is wrong with just naming your child a normal name? I don't understand these parents that are just, no, yes, my child must have a unique name that no one can spell and no one else has. I don't understand it. I just think it's weird. The next question is, have you participated in any sports? I played rugby for about a year when I was about five um, and didn't continue. Oh, I also played theatre sports at school, but I don't think that counts. The next question is, what is your favourite book? Um, my favourite book, I have two favourite books actually, because they're kind of a part of the same series. Um, the first one is The Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown, and the second one is Angels and Demons, which I think is actually the prequel, but it was written after. And they have literally been the only books that I've ever read that I literally couldn't put down. It was, I think I read Angels and Demons in about three days and The Da Vinci Code in about a week. The next question is, what is your favourite animal? Hands down, an elephant. I love elephants. I think if I ever saw an elephant in the wild, like if I went to Thailand or India or somewhere like that, and I saw an elephant in the wild, I think I'd probably cry. I'm not joking. They're just so beautiful. The next question is, what is your favourite slash dream holiday? See, I see those as two different questions, so I'm going to answer separately. So my favourite holiday that I've ever been on is basically any time that me and my family go back to the UK, because we still have a lot of our family over in the UK. So it's basically just whenever we go back to see them, because we don't get to see them that often. So it's nice whenever we do go back just to catch up with them. So I really like those family holidays. As for my dream holiday destination, I would love to go to the US and travel around the US. Go to places like LA and San Francisco and uh, New York and just go around, sightsee, have fun. Little 
be a tox time. The next question is, do you speak any different languages? I don't speak any languages fluently, other than English, obviously. Um, but I can speak a little bit of Italian, a little bit of German, a little bit of Welsh, um, because I went to school in Wales for uh, about two years, and in primary school in Wales, Welsh is compulsory. So I learned a little bit of Welsh, um, and a, I know a little bit of Japanese. The next question is, do you have any siblings? Uh, yes, I do. I have a younger brother, and he's great. Did you enjoy school? Yes, I did. I loved school. As I said before, I chose subjects that I enjoyed, so I was doing things that I wanted to do at school. I had a great group of friends at school. Um, yeah, school was generally just a, a great time for me. I really liked school. The next question is, who are some of your favourite YouTubers? I think what I'll do is I'll decide on my top five favourite YouTubers. Um, this is in no particular order. I really love Louise from Sprinkle of Glitter. I think she's lovely. All her videos just make my soul feel warm. She just soothes me. It's lovely. I really like Hazel Hayes of Chewing Sand. I think she's really funny. I love her accent. I could just sit and listen to her accent like all day. Sometimes I just put her vlogs on in the background and just listen because it's lovely. I also really like Marcus Butler. Um, I think he's really good. And I actually had the pleasure of meeting Marcus Butler on my most recent trip to the UK which was in December of last year um, and honestly he's the nicest guy he really just kind of lives up to every expectation that you have of him he's seriously just a really really great guy I also really like Grace Helbig because I just think she is hilarious she's so funny I think every video of hers that I've ever watched I I laugh out loud oh, she's just so funny the last YouTuber that I love is Miranda Sings, because she's the first YouTuber I ever watched. Um, she's kind of the YouTuber that got me into YouTube, so she's definitely, she's, she's, she's on my list, absolutely. And honestly, there are just, there are so many others, but if I went through my entire subscription box, we'd be here for hours. The next question is, what are some of your favorite TV shows? So I think, like, a lot of my favorite TV shows are no longer being made. Like, they still get shown on TV, but just as reruns. So things like Friends, um, Will and Grace. But then, I'm also a real sucker for reality shows. I'm not sorry. Things like, um, Geordie Shaw. Um... I almost don't want to say it, but Keeping Up With The Kardashians is... Oh, it's just a guilty pleasure. I just feel like it's a show that you can just put on, you forget your troubles. Essentially, it's just a bit of mindless entertainment. So the next question is PC or Mac? Mac. Mac everything. I have a... MacBook Pro, I have an iPad, I have an iPhone. Um, and the next question is, what phone do you have? And, kind of already answered it, I have an iPhone 5. The next question is, how tall are you? Very. I'm not exactly sure of how tall I am. I think I'm about 6 foot 5 though. Which is a bit over 2 meters tall. To cut a long story short, I'm tall. And the final question is, do you have any pets? Yes, I do. I have a little black poodle called Lucky, and he's really, really cute, and I love him. And there we go, that's the tag. If you have any further questions, please hesitate to ask. <laughs> Just joking, you can comment them if you want. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. You can also comment and subscribe, that would be awesome. But thank you so much for watching, it's been an absolute pleasure, and I will see you next time. Catch ya! Okay, that'll do. There'll be a thumbnail in there.